Going beyond the heroic stories you'll find on the shelves there, they jumped into action, saving a man's life when they discovered him unresponsive. On our side at six tonight, Desiree Montilla telling us about their quick thinking and an important chapter they hope to highlight. Inside the La Prade Library, at the information desk, I can help you down here. you'll find Danielle Tarullo helping people check out their next read. I like helping people. I like that nothing is the same twice. Uh, I enjoy talking about books and connecting people to resources. On June 1st, Tarullo's helping hand went beyond the bookshelf. I had actually just stepped out of a brief meeting when our staff member came to the back to get me. Uh, our staff member had helped a gentleman uh, to get on a computer and recognized pretty quickly that something wasn't right. When Tarullo checked on the man, he had become unresponsive. He was not breathing and not well, and that it looked uh, like a situation in which uh, naloxone was needed. As a staff member called 911, Tarullo administered naloxone. Gave him uh, the first dose of naloxone and waited a little bit, but I didn't see any change. So I gave him a second dose of naloxone. A customer had identified themselves as a nurse and helped us put him in the recovery position. First responders got to the library to help stabilize the man who is now recovering. Everyone really did their role as best as they possibly could have. A moment, Tarugo says, took a team effort. I want to express my immense gratitude to the many county employees who came together as one which ultimately saved this customer's life. During their meeting, the Chesterfield Board of Supervisors honored Tarullo, library staff, and first responders who helped save the man's life. Give your library card. A bookmark highlighting this important chapter. It really reinforces the importance of contributing to harm reduction in our community and validates our efforts to uh, provide naloxone to the community and be prepared nowhere to assist where we can. It was just a relief that we had the resources available and the training so that I knew what to do. On your side, Desiree Montilla, NBC 12 News.